Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Terratech. And on this episode, uh, we are still building our new uh, spot, a little, you know, whatever you want to call this, uh, base or castle or uh, flying, uh, you know, sky base or whatever it is uh, that you want to use the name for this thing. Now, the thing about this is we need a few pieces, and it occurred to me that I hadn't picked up the airplane yet. I don't know what I was waiting for on that one, but as you can see over here on the side with the panels, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing all the way down right there. And that way, the bots that I bring over here can just roll right into it and be perfectly fine. They can they can go in, and they should be able to come back out when I put the, the same thing on the other side. Now, it's going to take a little tweaking because, again, you need the propellers in there and things of that sort. Uh, but until I get that all set up, what I figured I will do is uh, head back over towards my base area and get that uh, get that airplane that we were missing. Uh, I was kind of waiting on it because, one, you know, I wanted to wait until I was ready for it. Because once you pick up your airplane, uh, it can really dominate, like, the rest of your game. At least it did for me, anyways. Uh, because it... It's so enjoyable, so fun to get inside that airplane and just fly like a gazillion miles uh, without really ever running into anything because there are no bots in the sky. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I think uh, it would be very, very difficult to take on a bot in the sky, mainly because of the weight limits. Like you're not a lot, you're not really able to put a lot of weapons on your bot when you fly up there plus the handling for me anyways is not the easiest thing in the world it did it does take a little while to get used to is that uh, that is an invader right there guys and he does have shields on now my shields are not fully charged but they're pretty good I think we're gonna take him on just to see if he has anything good am I hitting him no nope, not yet he doesn't have any oh look at that on the bottom he has some really really big fuel tanks I would love to get my hands on what else does he have right there in the back? Uh, I can't really tell what else he has, but we are hitting him from behind, which is absolutely perfect. I do kind of hope I'll get some of those fuel tanks, but now that I'm looking at where my weapons are hitting, I really, really doubt it. Like, that that just seems like the spot that's going to explode for first, because, again, you know, fuel tanks are highly explosive. Uh, he does have some... Uh, some engines back there but again I think that's probably going to explode as well we do have to get past his shield and you can see that his batteries are draining uh, dramatically right there and he's almost empty so those shields should come down there he doesn't have any repair bubbles just shield generators shield bubbles uh, so if we can get in there oh wow look how many freaking batteries he has right there on the front that is nuts and all he has is weapons on uh, on one side so I am getting hit a little bit right there you can kind of see my bot uh, was fixing itself. There we go. Right there seems to be absolutely perfect because it's not hitting the fuel tanks. It's actually shooting directly into the center, which is probably where he has his main bot, his cab. There we go. And nope, it's going to explode everything. Jeez. Uh, can I pick one up? Can I pick one up? No, I didn't get one in time. Dang it. I had it in my hand. I let go. I should. No, actually, since I picked it up. I think that counts. Uh, it used to be where you had to actually uh, put it onto your bot. But somebody told me as long as you pick the item up, it counts. So we will go back and we'll look at that eventually and see if uh, if we now have access to that. We definitely have access to this one because we can pick that up and I can actually look at it. Uh, we're going to just throw these things here on the back. But we're not really going to worry about picking up too many of these objects. We don't really need more of this stuff. I mean, it's nice... It's fantastic. Uh, there's some good stuff down here. I will pick up the batteries, even though, you know, really, I don't need them. I mean, I can just buy more, but... And they're really not even that expensive. I, mean, I really don't know why I, I spend the time. I guess it's probably because I played the game when batteries... I, I went through, like, three playthrough guys. Uh, literally, like, three of them, where I could not find a battery to save my life. And batteries are one of those clinch pin technologies that if you just do not have them a lot of these uh, special abilities like using your shield generators and your repair bubbles just aren't possible you can't really do it uh, I should say you can't really you can't do it at all without a battery you need something to store the energy otherwise you're just you're gonna have to actually constantly create energy on the go either from uh, picking up resources and then using the 
the generator to harvest those resources into fuel. But then that fuel has to be used immediately. Otherwise, it sits there waiting for it. So it's it's something like it will turn on and turn off and turn on and turn off. It's really annoying, and it just nah, it doesn't work. It just really doesn't work. Um, but you can try it. Like, worse comes down to worse. It's it's better than nothing, I guess. Like, you're going to be able to repair your bubble or your, um, your bot a little faster. You're actually be able to do it on the go. It's just not going to be very efficient, and you're probably not going to enjoy it nearly as much. So... That's, that's something you need to be aware of that, you know, the, the batteries just really are one of those things you have to go above and beyond to get uh, in the early days. Now, now that they came out with the, the GSO grade, you know, and you can go through and, and actually um, progress through the tutorial missions, you get the ability to pick those things up whether you actually found them or not. It's actually just something that you get access to as you complete the mission so that's kind of a cool little thing to get but you can't or at least I should say you couldn't rely on that in the past so I'm still on that that mentality if you find one you pick it up uh, and they used to cost a great deal of money as well so that was something that you had to uh, kind of worry about as well that you just you know you never really had a lot of cash when you sold stuff you never got full price for it and I've been told that they're gonna be taking that out here pretty soon too so don't get used to the really good prices of Whatever you pay for an object is what you get back in return. It was usually something like only 20% of what you pay for the object is what you get. So that's yeah, kind of sucky if you ask me. Like you have to get something really expensive before you start raking in some of the, the decent cash there. It does look like there's an enemy over there. So I'm going to charge up really quick right here. And I do apologize for the noise. It's just one of those things we kind of have to deal with. And you can see I am getting a little bit more lag over here. Sorry about that, guys. I went ahead and paused the video there, uh, mainly because I had to cough, but once I did it, uh, I realized that it was taking a really, really long time for it to charge up my batteries, and then I realized we just added, like, you know, 15 more batteries to our bank right there, so that's what was taking so long. I don't like having him this close to my uh, my base, my little wall over there, but he's, he's about to die. He, he's totally dead. Of course, he did make a big mess over here, and now there's... Uh, more little pieces. Uh, I keep telling you, man, these, it's crazy how often you will find uh, more and more of this junk, uh, that, or these bots filled with this junk, I should say, uh, just spawning over here. Now, of course, it's not really junk. It just happens to not really interest me at this stage of the game because I have so much of it as it is. But it would actually be very, very cool to come back and like use all that stuff to make some like hodgepodge bot and see what I can do out of that. Like, what... What would it, like? What it is the most that I got? Did I get more weapons? Did I get more wills? Uh, more blocks? Because with that many bots, it should be a pretty good average. But sometimes not so much. Like sometimes you will find nothing but uh, wills. Like that's all you'll get out of the bot when he finally explodes. You just and I do apologize for the lag over here. It's because we're over next to my base that uh, you know the lag is is kind of building up. What is this? This guy have an armor on? He sure does. He has armor and what else? I think we fought this guy already, yeah, GSO Megatannon, there's a few of them on him. Now he's trying to ram me basically because he knows when he explodes every piece of him, uh, it will do a little bit of damage. And I, I say he's trying to do it on purpose, I don't know if they're that intelligent, but it does seem like they are. Like it, it seems like they're doing that on purpose uh, for the most part, let's see what else do we got in there, anything good? No, still haven't seen anything really good in there. Ooh, there we go. We haven't gotten one of these yet, as far as I'm aware of. So now we got a few little boosters, which is going to help out, because with our design, we may need an extra, you know, few boosters on the back to get going. Uh, and at least we have access to it in case we do need it. Uh, there's some stud lasers I could throw on the front, but I'm not going to do that just yet. Uh, now, we are not connected to uh, Twitter right now. And I'm doing, I did that on purpose. I've done plenty of playthroughs where we are connected. And, of course, you'll have access to the bots that people actually design themselves. Very, very cool thing to have. Is this a base? No, no, no. This is our airplane. Good. Finally, we get our airplane over here. Uh, what I can do, I can actually just attach this to that, can't I? I had the same problem last time. It wouldn't let me attach a bot to it. You know, to actually just take it over without picking up all the pieces. 
it wanted me to pick up all the pieces, and that's unfortunate because it'd be nice to just be able to attach the guy right there and uh, and then just take off. But no, that's, that's not going to be a thing, so I'm going to have to pick this thing up. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and grab uh, if it would let me pick it up. No? Wow, it won't even let me pick it up. I wonder why. Maybe it's, it's freaking out because this thing's underneath it. There we go. So it's just a little bit of lag right there. Can I pick this thing up now? Huh. That is... is kind of weird. It won't let me pick it up. And I know if I attack it, I'll destroy it. Neutral, huh? What's the... What's the trick here? What am I missing? There we go. Okay, so a few pieces fell off. Come on, let me get back up there and pick it up. Can I pick those pieces up at least? Yes, I can. Okay, so for some reason, this thing's kind of bugged out. I know it's not supposed to work that way. You shouldn't have to attack it. You should just be able to walk up to it, hit it, and uh, and pick the pieces up. But because it's, it's kind of freaking out, I need to be a little careful here. And hopefully uh, my Mega Cannons don't get a piece of this thing because... Yeah, it, it will completely wipe the floor with this. And I need all of these pieces. Ah, oh, come on. Give it to me. I got it. I, I picked it up. And then it blew up. So hopefully I have access to that. We will find out if that is how it works. Because I need that piece. I needed that piece really bad. And if that's the one piece that gets destroyed, I just... Oh, that is going to suck. Come on. I need the wings as well. Desperately need the wings. Okay, so I have access to at least one of the wings. I need the back wings as well. There we go. Can I pick it up? Yes, I can. Uh, actually, do we have a, a a payload studio with us? No, I don't think I brought one with me, a terminal. Uh, that way I could check to see if I actually have access to it. So I have to go back to the base uh, before, I can, before I can see that. It's kind of unfortunate that we have to destroy this thing like this. Like, I don't like shooting at these things. I guess I could have used the drill to be extra careful. Or I could have taken some of my weapons off just to uh, make sure that when I did hit it, it wouldn't be a dramatic hit. But, I don't know, I was being a little lazy on that one, and I may pay the price on that one when I go back and find that, eh, I can't use it. I, I don't have the access to it. That would just... Yeah, I I'm starting to think that maybe that might be the case. Even though I picked it up. I picked it up, guys. You saw me move it. It got moved underneath my bot, and then it exploded. And it's not down there right now. See? I wish it was. I wish it was attached. If I had done it a little quicker, my repair bubbles uh, may have been able to save it. I've done that before. It's about to explode. It gets back over here, and you're able to recharge and repair that uh, fairly quickly to the point where it will no longer explode. And then it sits on your bot, and it waits uh, for a fairly long time before it finally recharges. Now, I do have some... Uh, some fuel tanks over here and I think they're bugged out because as you can see right here they're not recharging I don't know what that means I don't you didn't used to have to recharge it manually it just did it on its own but you can see it just kind of sits there and it never recharges so I'm hoping that's not the th like a thing that's going on right now like there's some weird bug or something I'm gonna kill this guy real quick even though there's gonna be more junk over here causing even more lag uh, I really really need to fix this uh, and come up with a way to just get rid of all of this stuff really quickly. I've tried to do it before in the past. It just doesn't seem to work out very well for me. Wow. Yeah, that guy... That guy was a bomb week to happen, actually. That was pretty horrible. Okay, so let's come back over here. There is a uh, payload terminal right over here on the side. This is the one I usually use. I don't use the other one anymore because my bot is just too close to it. So let's see, did I get access to it? Say yes, please. Uh, I think it's further down on the bottom. We'll scroll through all the way and see what we got. Okay, so there we got the wings. We got the, the GSO uh, left high wing aerofoil and the GSO right wing. Okay, so you needed both of those for sure. Um, let's see, I need the propeller. Please be the propeller. Okay, I got the GSO rudder. What else did we get? I think that went up too high. Ah, uh, come on. Don't got that one. We got the rudder. Um, we need the turbines, but we don't have those just yet. Come on. Ah, oh, there we go. We got the GSO uh, Mega Boosters, as we were looking at before. 
Come on, ah, oh, come on. We're, I didn't see it grayed out, so there, there's still hope. We were in the middle of this when, when we came into it, and I went ahead and went straight down. So there is hope that it's going to be higher up on the list. And uh, I, I'm just crossing my fingers at this moment, guys, because we need a ton of those. And we need to have access to them. And it doesn't seem like it's even here. It's not even grayed out. Where? What is that under? Did I miss it? Did I go past it too fast? I may have been past it too fast. Let's take one more look at it. There's so many items in here. It would be nice if... Uh, you know, and it's asking a lot. I know it is, guys. But, I mean, it would be nice if at some point they put something in here, like a filter. So you can be like, I'm just looking for wheels. And then it just shows you the wheels. Or I'm just looking for blocks, uh, base pieces, you know, stuff like that. Just to make it a little bit simpler for people when they come in here and they, they already know what they're looking for. They don't need to scroll through, like, the entire list of objects. But, of course, if they're not sure what they need uh, to have that option of just kind of scrolling through and seeing what what is there... Uh, also being able to filter stuff out like the stuff they don't have access to uh, so they don't have to keep seeing all those those uh, you know go past them that the stuff they can't even build I don't see the propeller it should be in the GSO one right I mean it's it's not venture as far as I know hmm that is uh, unless I'm blind and I just keep missing it and you guys will let me know for sure on that one let's check out venture for all I know, it's, it's in there. I know it's not Geocore. That would just be the weirdest place for that. Ah, come on. Please be in here somewhere. Ah, no. It lagged out, and I went way too far. Oh, there it is. There it is. So we do have access to it. Thank you. Yes. Let's go ahead and build one of those just for safety. That way I feel better that I do have access to it, even though, you know, if it's in there, it's in there. It's not going anywhere, but, uh, you know, I just I don't want to risk it. So let's go ahead and get out of here. Now, I haven't had to recharge in a while, and again, that's because I have so many freaking batteries right now that my bot just uh, it doesn't need to recharge very often. So that might be something we try to do here in the future with some of our bigger bots, because you can go really, really big with this game. And uh, there could be a, a bot that in the future is uh, like a center of nougat filled with batteries, basically. So many so uh, that... Once you charge up once, that's pretty much it. You don't ever have to go back and and do it again. Now, let's see. Is there anything good here? No. A couple more batteries, which I'm going to leave on the ground because we really don't need it. And it's just causing more lag. Holy crap. Look at that guy. Jeez. That guy is pretty big. Of course, he doesn't look that tough because the weapons he's using are, you know, they're pretty good. You know, they're able to hit me in a lot of different ways. Uh, if I'm spinning around this guy because he has the Venture Fire rifles, that's going to be able to still, you know, pummel me and do some damage. But in the grand scheme of things, is it a powerful bot? No, not really. And, uh, you know, like I was saying, having the little nougat of, uh, of batteries in the center clearly is not a good idea. Like, that guy was nothing but batteries in the center. And when you destroy one... There goes the entire bot. So maybe spreading it out a little bit. Maybe putting some batteries, making it a little bit less, you know, uh, secure on the outside. But having blocks, you know, separating large chunks of it would allow you to protect yourself from that domino effect of just losing everything when they get a lucky few shots in. Although if you keep in mind, if you put enough shield generators on in the right order and then, of course, you have that power to spare they're never going to be able to get through it. Like, you've seen it where I'll attack a, you know, an invader, and the invader just, I have to pummel him for like a minute and a half, two minutes before I even get past his shields. So if you're going to do it that route, then, of course, you can have it in the center. But you are very, very vulnerable when your shields fail to just being completely and totally annihilated. So I don't know if that really is the best method to use or not, but I don't know. We're going to experiment with it a little bit more. Let me know if you guys at home have tried that. And what the results have been both ways, with shields and without shields. Of course, I don't really see a point to having batteries on your bot if you're not going to use shields and repair bubbles. Like, what, what are you using the batteries for? You don't need it for your, uh, your fuel tanks. You don't need it for the workings of your bot, your base, or anything like that. That would be interesting, though, if they made it where there's a power component to power your conveyor belts. Because, you know, it, 
they're actually, you know, using energy to, like, hover these objects up. Maybe there should be some power usage to it, which would promote you to get those really, really big power battery bats, uh, you know, further down the road, because uh, you would just definitely have to have them. Like, you just wouldn't be able to get away without it. Um, but they haven't really done that yet. I don't know if they really want to go that realistic or not. Like, I'm not really sure what their plan is on that one, but uh, we'll definitely keep an eye out and see, you know, where they're going to go with that. And, you know, I'm going to move this down a little bit just for aesthetic reasons, if I can get it that way. There we go. That way I can have another little block right here. In fact, I think I'll use the corner pieces and then do the exact same thing all the way down this side. Now, this block right here is going to be moved, basically, and I'm going to use these all the way in the back. And the reason that's going to work is it still has the inside right there, as you can see, so that you can put this... Uh, where did I put it? Uh, there it is. You can put this propeller, you know, on it because it is too high and it will still spin. Now, I don't want it on this side. I actually want it here on the back and I want it there in the center and there in the front, uh, which is the way he had it and it worked just fine. But, you know, with this design, I think it's, it's going to be pretty cool. I like it. I like the way that looks. The only downside to that would be... I don't know if you can drive over these things. Like, they might get in the way when you fly over it. But again, if you're using these big wheels, you probably can muscle your way past it. So that's probably not going to be too big of a thing. But again, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and end the video here. If you do enjoy these videos, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe. Definitely leave comments down below. Uh, I'm probably going to do a little bit of this off camera, get the, the propellers on and things of that sort, get it kind of set up. And then once I got a good portion of it, uh, kind of done and I'm ready to do the next step which is actually to go up in a cube like uh, fashion uh, then I'll go ahead and start the recording again and you guys can kind of uh, see how that works out uh, again I, this is going to be a new thing for me we really haven't done this too much before and I'm really looking forward to doing the base part of it like just making it look really really cool but again guys thanks for watching until next time